Hello and welcome back to Bane Plays Final Fantasy 7. My name is Bane. And, uh, I thought it would take a while, but it didn't. I was gonna, I got the hard edge off screen. Which means I've put the enemy's skill and the steel material on him. Giving... She does not need two ice magics. I'll give her a sense materia. And I'll see which one of the ice materia this is. Okay, it's the one that she actually has. Alright, we need to use a tent if we have one. I need to go is this way see there's no elevator on the two floors above this one so we have to go all the way down to floor 66 to get to the elevator now that we're in that glass elevator we activate it and who's this dude? This is uh, Rude. And he's telling us to go up. And the reason why he's telling us to go up is because uh, we've been made. They know we're here. That's Sung. He's the leader of the Turks. Or if not the leader, at least the guy that has the highest seniority right now. So, and here we are in front of President Dickbag. In a safe place, my... Don't you know they call themselves Setra, blah blah blah, she's an ancient. We want her to leave us to the land of milk and honey, or at least the land of lots and lots of Mako energy. Yeah. Isn't that just a legend? Who knows? Very fertile. If the land is fertile, then there's got to be Mako energy. What they don't tell you this early into the game is that literally the Mako reaction, like, you think it's just some bioterrorist crap. You know, oh, well, the Mako reactors are pulling the life out of the engine, out of the planet, out of the Earth, out of Gaia, whatever. This is where Neo Midgar will be built, Shinra's new glory. But they're quite literally telling the truth. The Mako reactors pull energy from the life stream. Uh, we're about to be thrown in jail. Come on, out of his way. I got a lot to say to you, President Dick Barrett. He does. He has a cigar hanging out his mouth. He has a cigar hanging out his mouth. Alright. We talked to her. Leave it to me. You're so brave.
I wonder how Eris is doing. And you talk to him. Cloud, are you there? Sure. You safe? Yeah, I'm alright. I knew Cloud would come for me. Hey, I'm your bodyguard, right? I mean, the deal is for one date, right? I mean, look, why do they have Tifa and Cloud in the same cell? What? Does the promised land really exist, hussy? I don't know. Skank. All I know is, the sets are born from the planet and speak with the planet and unlock the planet. And then, the Cetra will return to the promised land, a land that promises supreme happiness. It's the afterlife. Literally, the... Th uh, the... Uh, yes, she literally hears the spirits of the planet. I only heard it in the church in the slums. Mother said that Midgar was no longer safe. That is my real mother. Yeah. Think about that. Let, let's... That's what mom said. Blah, blah, blah. I wonder how Barrett is doing. Hey. Eris is an ancient. Blah. Know where the promised land. Blah. I only heard stories about the promised land. I don't know if it really exists. It's the afterlife. Is that right? Eh. The Shinra believe that the promised land is full of Mako energy, which means if the Shinra get there, they'll suck up all the Mako energy. And the land will wither away. The planet's going to get weaker. Can't just leave them be. I'm recruiting new members. Me, Tifa, Cloud, and Ares too. How about you? Eh. You're boring. I wonder how Red's doing. Grandpa. Grandpa. <laughs> now you gotta remember, Red is about 40 years old. From what I've seen in the... Uh, from what I've seen, from what I remember, he's about 40 years old when the game's taking place. Alright, now we get some sleep. I don't know why they put Tifa in a cell with Eris. Bec or with Cloud, because that doesn't make sense. If they want to separate them up, then they'd have Tifa and Bear across the hall. All right. Uh, doors open. When did it open? Are we about to die? Eh. Yeah. Tifa, wake up. What's wrong? Shit's going down. What happened? I don't know. I wonder what happened. Uh, he should have the key on him. Come on, I'll get Tifa. Get Eris. I'll go help Bear and the other. Not others. Other. Bear, Red, come with me. Something's wrong. How'd you get in? Why is the door open? Uh, did, the door is open. You're being sprung from jail. Do not ask too many questions. All right. Now. Let's see. I don't have my level 2 limit breaks. I got to grind those. Materia. Elemental, poison, steel, fire. 
cover enemy skill. Range. Exchange. Oh, they moved all of... All. All. Restore. Lightning. This isn't some shit. Now, I have no clue what these things are called off the top of my head. Except for the fact that they need to die. Vargid Police. Hey, are you guys weak to lightning? Not really. Tifa, punch him. Oh. I want Cloud to steal because... There's... Uh, a lot of the enemies have items on them that are actually useful. Oh, we don't want those. Suicide and Tifa got a limit break. Uh, you gotta love whenever enemies suicide on you. Alright, we already saved it, so let's go up. Genova literally just looks like it leads up. Well, let's go. What are we fighting against now? Oh, these things. Deadly waste. Yeah. All that'll do is poison somebody. So, we're just going to... beat the crap out of everything. Oh, wait. Actually, I think they're weak to ice. I'm not sure off the top of my head. There we go. They're dead. They are dead. Yes, and Tifa got somersault. Or second limit break. Alright, let's keep going. Now, I know some of this is very eh, but we're literally on our way out of Midgar. We're going to save. And we're going to save up here. No. You know what? Definitely saving that limit break. Yeah. Eris wrecks things with magic. Which means it sucks that she's not around for the whole game. Whoops. Was that a spoiler? 
If that's spoiled for you, then you've been living under a rock. Oh, look. Former President Dickbag. It's Sephiroth's sword. Only Sephiroth can use that sword. Who cares who did it? This is the end of the Shinra. Uh, oh look, it's Palmer. Please don't kill me. What happened? Uh, it was Sephiroth. Did you see him? Did you see Sephiroth? Yeah, I saw him with my own eyes. You really? Would I lie at a time like this? I heard his voice too. Said something about not letting us have the promised land. Then does that mean the promised land really blah blah blah? Uh, <laughs> good God, no way. Sephiroth's mission is different. Rufus, shit, I forgot about him. Who's that vice president dickbag? The dickbag's son. Alright, now. We go out here. So, Sephiroth was actually here, by the way. So, so Sephiroth was actually here, by the way. Just who are you? I'm Cloud, ex-soldier first class. I'm from Avalanche. Me too. A flower girl from the slums. A research specimen. Who's missing an eyeball? What a crew. Well, I'm Rufus, the president of Shinra Incorporated. You're only president because your old man died. And I own the company. Father tried to control the world with money blah. You are slow. People believe that Shinra would protect them. Work at Shinra, get your pay. If terrorists attack, the Shinra army will help you. You look perfect from the outside. But I do things differently. I control the world with fear. It's too much to do it like that, my old man. In other words, he's a chief bash that wants to, throw, well, wants to make everybody afraid of him. A little fear will control the minds of the common people. There's no reason to waste good money on them. He likes to make speeches, just like his father. Get Eris out of the building. What? I'll explain later, Barrett. This is the real crisis for the planet. Uh, the hell's that supposed to mean? Get the ancient out of the building. Cloud, I just thought of something. Let's get your ass out of the building. I'll wait for Cloud everyone get to the elevator. Alright. Now. I'm gonna be pretty... We should check our equipment. Remove it. We're gonna be doing some materia stuff. Restore all I... Yeah. I'm gonna give you. All right, let's arrange. I'm gonna give you. Uh, ice. All. Restore. All. And the enemy skill material. Barrett, you're getting elemental lightning. Cover because you are a tanky son of a bitch. And we'll give you poison material. Not that we really need the poison material, but we give him poison material. Who's ready for a boss fight?
Look at that. Just shattered all the glass in between them. Now. Barret is the only one that can actually attack. Everyone else is too far away. But uh, the reason why they're too far away is because they're on different platforms. Maybe I should have saved it, but if she dies, she loses it. Alright. Now, she takes less damage because she's in the back. Barrett's doing more damage because he's got that elemental material attack. Uh, with the light. Alright. Take him out, Barrett. Never had this. I've never had this fight take this long. I've really never had this fight take this long. But uh, there we go. Now we're on to the second phase of the fight. This dude. A B cannon. And Barrett blocked it with his body. Alright. Now she's got the elemental magic that they're weak against. I mean so does Barrett. But since hers is uh, since Barrett can actually attack, oh, they poisoned him. Well, this is the only way Red can attack and actually hit the ball. That's with a limit break. Because limit breaks hit no matter what. Flying drill. Huh. Just cause enough damage to Eris to make her use the, uh... I guess no. I guess you don't need to. Alright. A mithril armlet. Cloud does not need an all material for this fight. But I will give him the elemental material, and I'm going to put uh, poison with the elemental material. Let's go. Let's go, homie. Bring it. I guess we won't be allies. Now, he comes with his dog. Oh 
yeah, the dog does like it. Yeah, I'm gonna put. I could have put lightning and element in my armor. Hey, Rufus. Get poisoned. <laughs> I do like the fact that he is poisoned now, so uh I'm over store clouds hit point. He'll cloud up, and then next turn, let's do another cross slash on Rufus. Good old Rufy boy. Maybe that'll kill him. That's all for today. And he leaves, and that actually ends the fight. And he dropped his bulletproof vest. They call it the protect vest, but might as well be a bulletproof vest. It gives you plus 10 vitality. Which means that if you were to uh, put it on somebody who you want to tank everything with cover materia, they'll tank it a lot easier. Not living through this. We did. Yay. Let's see. Now we can talk to Tifa or we can save the game and end the video right here. Which that is what we're going to end up doing. My name is Bane. This has been Final Fantasy VII, and we're almost out of Midgard. Y'all have a good day.